Skeletons, it is Disney Queen Skelly here. So as you guys know by now, I have the app Cameo. Now, I don't have a Cameo, like I can't make videos for people, but I have requested two videos thus far. The first video I got was Chris Sarandon's video, you guys have already seen the video on that. The other video I got, oh my god, I'm scared this video is going to get so much hate. My second video is from Nikocado Avocado. I do watch him, um, it's merely for entertainment purposes at this point, he's just extremely interesting to watch. I did follow him previously before all the drama started back up with, uh, started with him, and then I didn't really start watching him again until like later, earlier this year, and it's just kind of, I don't know, like I said, he's just interesting to watch. So I requested a video from him one night because I figured why the hell not, I'd love to see what happens. I was such in, funk, in a funk, I was such in kind of like a depressed mood that I was like super desperate for a video or like something from somebody. So I reached out to Nick, I purchased a cameo from him, and <clears throat> received it a little bit later than expected. I thought that I wasn't going to be able to get to it. However, this video that he sent me was very interesting. I'll just play it and kind of react to it and then let you guys know why. It was the most interesting video I have purchased so far, even though I've only purchased two videos. So you guys won't be able to see it. You guys will just be able to hear it. Maddie, First of all, my name's not Maddie. It's Mandy. <laughs> you guys know me as Skelly, but my name is my name. I go by is Mandy, not Maddie. I, oh my gosh! 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 I have to be a little quiet because the neighbors. It's like two in the morning right now. I just got to do a mukbang. There's evidence. I have a chicken bone. Where to go? It's funny because I actually watched this mukbang before he even sent me the cameo. There's chicken all over the place. Oh, ew. <laughs> this is disgusting. Hi, Maddie. It's Mandy. <laughs> so good to see you and meet you. Like I said, I'm here at the mukbang table. We just ended up doing Popeyes. This bright light is too much. So we're going to get out of the chair and burn some calories. <sighs> this was pretty much looking like one of his YouTube videos at, like to start with but a personal one <laughs> here we go and we're gonna turn this light i don't want it completely off because then i'll look like a demon we're just gonna turn the brightness down a little bit yes um hi maddie it's so good to mandy not maddie meet you hello 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 um okay so this says here wait oh i'm confused it says this is for maddie booked by amanda it's for Mandy, booked by Amanda. My name is, I put my real name in here on the cameo, but I put my nickname in the description when I asked for something. So it got kind of funky. I didn't mean to do that, so I apologize. That's on my end. It says, hello, my name is Maddie, and I've been a subscriber on YouTube for a long time. Okay, so at the end of this, he's going to say email me, which I did. And I kind of corrected him. I was like, hey, I don't mean to be rude, but my name's Mandy, not Maddie. And it, I'm technically the same person. It's just a nickname. He apologized, which was kind of funny. But it just uh, watching this, I'm cracking up every time he says Maddie, Maddie, Maddie. And the way I spell it is M-A-N-D-I-E. So it kind of does look, look like a Maddie, M-A-D-D-I-E. But I've been given that mistake before, like multiple times. It just always cracked me up and the last time that happened was in high school so I didn't think I'd ever hear the name Maddie ever again. I suffer from depression and anxiety and nothing has really helped me so I would love some some words of encouragement if that's all right just something to boost up my spirits and make me happy. Yeah I was again going through a lot. Things have actually gotten better for me. Things have been getting a lot lot better. Um, I've been able to get away more. I've been able to spend more time with hubby and we've been playing like a lot of games together and you know we've just been doing a lot more than how when quarantine first started so things have actually gotten better and believe it or not with how messed up this video was not in terms of the content but just from the mistakes it did make me feel better it made me laugh so that actually helped a lot well of course maddie i'm just mandy wondering who's amanda me the same person <laughs> Oh, did Amanda pay for it? Oh, that was so sweet of you, Amanda. Oh, well, hi to you, Amanda, too. I don't know who you are, but... Same person. <laughs> are you her sister, her friend, or her mother? I don't know, but... I'll... Mother? Mother? <laughs> I am nobody's mother. I don't have any siblings. I am same person. <laughs> oh, Maddie, Maddie, Maddie. Okay, girl. Mandy, Mandy, Mandy. I literally, just three or four days ago, I was so depressed. Now... And I watched that video too. I eat really unhealthy food. And for me personally, 
some certain things that I eat really trigger sadness for me. And I always tell that to my viewers. I know I'm a junk food channel and I eat a lot of crap for the views. Also, it tastes really good. Uh, but I'm very aware of how it makes me feel. Obviously, I've gained all this weight. Well, it's just water weight. Just water weight. Just water weight. <laughs> And it's just one way, I swear. Um, but I am very aware, trust me, especially coming from my past. And I've learned a little bit about health and this and that. And um, I always tell my viewers who say, Nick, I'm feeling a little sad. I, I give them a lot of tips. But one thing I say, and that's not to be like preachy or something. This is just to say, consider exploring your diet. Not Which I have. I mean, I, I was doing it way before this. I mean, when... I first, when we first kind of went into quarantine, one of the things Hubby and I would do is like we would order out sometimes, and one of the things that I ordered brand new that I had never had before was sushi. And now I'm a huge fan of sushi. I love sushi. Specifically, salmon sushi. Salmon sushi is delicious. I even found out I love sashimi. Is this crazy? Like, I, I did explore my diet, and I'm still exploring my diet. I've been eating foods that I didn't think I'd ever eat back in high school when I was like younger. Maybe not the whole thing. Maybe it's just a certain thing. Because I'm telling you, when I have certain MS, certain foods that have MSG, or I've noticed uh, fried food gives me like a little more ADD, a little less focus, more brain fog. It can also mess like oh, what's that thing? Oh, I had lasagna from Costco. It had a bunch of preservatives. All these things I couldn't even pronounce were on the label. I ate it and I felt depressed all day. It was the most dark feeling I ever had in my head. I remember him, he actually told, I remember when he said that, he actually told that story in one of his mukbang videos, I wasn't sure if it was the Popeyes one, or if it was a different one, but he actually ended up mentioning that story in a different video. And it happened because the it, lasagna, it wasn't a coincidence, because I did it a second, second time. I filmed the Costco lasagna, it comes in the freezer section twice, and both times I felt like I was about to jump off a roof. I was like, life sucks, goodbye. <laughs> like. Oh my god. Like that should have a warning on it. And maybe it affects me to not other people. Everyone's a little different. So that's all I just want to throw out there. And I know it's ironic coming from a mukbanger. But again, um, I really do know food. And I really do pay attention. My chair is about to break. Hold on. I have to screw it over here. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> screw again, this is like watching a personal YouTube video. Those are getting loose. Listen, my, my fat but my fat butt can't even be held by this chair anymore. Um but I just want to throw that out there. Now, some words of encouragement to help with your depression and anxiety. Well, I'm going to tell you what works for me. And um, I feel like there's such simple things that might be overlooked by people. People are looking for like, well, I mean, yes, professionals do help. Like go to the doctor, talk to a therapist, all that kind of stuff. Hubby has straight up told me before that I needed help. <laughs> like there was one time he just looked at me and goes, you seriously need help. I was like, yeah, I know. Here's something that's free. If you're if you're using YouTube to watch me, you have the internet, okay? And um, if you are able to walk outside, this is free. Go for a walk in a park. Hubby and I used to go on walks. We actually used to go on a walk every single day. We would walk from my neighborhood to two other neighborhoods and then back to my neighborhood. It would be just a loop. And we had a good time, but then the weather got hot and then we couldn't do that anymore, so... Look at bushes, hear the birds. Hopefully it's nice weather. Hopefully it's not too hot. That's why I say park under the tree, because even if it's hot, it's still kind of relieving in the shade. When you can find shade. You need to be out in nature. It's so small, it's always overlooked. It's the littlest thing that always helps with me. If I have lasagna from Costco, then, um, I think nothing's helping. I just gotta sit in bed and wait for it to be over. Honestly, that's how intense it can be. So the, all, I'm telling you, consider it, consider it, girl. You know, I don't even know where to tell you to begin, but I'm um, just explore, type in things, look Google, what to do for food sensitivity that you might not know you even have. But okay, pretend that that doesn't work or whatever. It, regardless, go for a walk in nature. It always helps me. Always, 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 always. And listen to nice music. And don't listen ooh, don't listen to, like, party music. I know dance music, electronic music. It's really fun. Rap, hip-hop. My playlists are everywhere. I know I shared with you guys my Disney playlist at one point. But I have, like, a regular playlist that I listen to on, like, just my normal days. 
and that music actually makes me really happy. I have certain songs on there that no matter what kind of mood I am, I'm in, I listen to it and my mood's immediately boosted up. And for everyone it is different. So, you know, I mean, he's not wrong in that, you know, you can listen to party music, but I mean, like, if it's a song that doesn't really get you as pumped as maybe some other music, then maybe you could try something else. I don't know. Um, it's, there's a time and a place for all genres of music. Find something sweet and calming. Actually, a lot of people are kind of, like, turned off by classical music. Like, ew, it's boring. Oh, it's sleepy. I, I like classical music. I get it. I, this, our culture is really not into, well, you know me. Well, maybe you don't, but I grew up with classical music. I was trained in violin. I, with how much you share on YouTube, I feel like I pretty much know you as much as the rest of your subscribers do. And I'm really into classical music, but a lot of people aren't. So, here's something that is just as close, just as effective, but more, like, f find some movie scores. So I love movie soundtracks. That's pretty much where I find most of my music is from movies. Beautiful movie scores would be, um, I actually just go to YouTube and do, like, the best, most beautiful movie scores. Oh, here's a beautiful song. It's called Arrival of the Birds. Um, that was he talked about that in one of his videos arrival of the birds used in what was that movie called? It was the one about the guy in the wheelchair the scientist. What was his name? Oh my God. Stephen Hawking Stephen Hawkins It's um, called arrival of the birds type it into YouTube Listen to it with some headphones and walk under the trees with some fresh air. Oh my god. I'm listening to it Don't copyright me Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And you get goosebumps, and it just kind of like, you feel like you're getting to the peak of a mountain. Like you've done all this work, it's really hard, and finally you have arrived at the top of the mountain. And it just feels pure and still and fresh and crisp. And all the hard work has paid off. That's the feeling that that music kind of gives you. And it also feels melancholy. Like there's a little sadness in there, but it's still beautiful and that's kind of what depression is well depression is not beautiful but you can find the beauty in depression i promise i think what he means by that is like despite being depressed you can find things that make you feel beautiful in a way like instead of feeling all sad and and like lonely and just feeling like everything is not right you can find the beauty in it you can find something that makes you feel beautiful and that makes you think that, you know, once you're out of this, you know, depressive state, things look a lot be more beautiful than when you were in it. And in my opinion, that is totally true. When I have my depressive episodes, every time I come out of it, things just look brighter. Things just seem better. And it's amazing. It's an amazing feeling. Some of the best music, the best art, the best um, uh, Shakespeare, the best theater, uh, monologues, anything, have come from people of sadness. Think of Billie Eilish. She's popping right now. Do you know her? And all her Yes, I do. I have one song from her. Songs are, are about being sad and crying and losing a boyfriend and being depressed. They're all very sad. But beauty is still found from it and because of it. So that's something to, like, know, too, that, like, it's... The world's crazy. It's always up and down, just like my channel, just like my weight. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but you can find the beauty in it if you look hard enough and take a moment to be still and be aware so that's my little tip for you go for a walk listen to arrival of the birds i never thought i would tell anyone that but yes that's what i do i listen to a lot of different um music and sometimes it feels good to just be sad it's okay to be sad just it really is i mean when i cry and i kind of let it all out it feels good and i find myself calming down a lot more quicker than if I didn't let it out, if I held it in. Let it. Live it. Let it come out. Take your time with it. There's no rush. And it's your life. It's your um, reality. You know, it's your beautiful life. So, Maddie, I hope this helped. Mandy. I'm not a therapist. I don't even know what the fuck I just said, but I, that's what, that's just me. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like that's half, that's like pretty much Harley Baby and Hubby. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying, but I'm hoping it helps. Okay, so. Honestly, that's me too. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying, but I hope it helps. I hope this helped. It was really, really good to, to meet you. Hang on, hang on in there. It's gonna be okay. Um, just know that if you're at rock bottom, that means you can only go up. And it's true. You know, that means where else is there to go? 
all right? Hang on, stick around, it will get better. And you're gonna, you're gonna look back and be like, wow, I remember I was so freaking depressed. Like me with the damn lasagna from Costco. Oh, I know I'm, trying, I'm not trying to make a joke of it, but still, there are times where you can remember, like the fact that I remember that, that was like a year ago, um, shows how profound it was on my body and my mind. My mind felt like it was suffering. And I can look back and say, oh my God, I'm not eating that damn lasagna anymore. But still, I overcame it. And it's a beautiful thing. I'm sorry if this is too long, but that's all. It's not. It's fine. To say, I hope this helped. Who this is, and um, I hope you enjoyed this. So, I'll see you on YouTube. Take care. It wasn't exactly the video I thought it was gonna be, and I mean, I, I don't know really what I was expecting. But at the same time, like, my name's not Maddie. It's Mandy. But I mean, with the advice he gave me was actually pretty good. Um, I kind of took it to heart. You know, I'm still exploring my diet. Um, I'm getting better with my diet, too, as you guys have seen, you know, throughout the progress updates that I give you guys. I figured out kind of one of the reasons why I've been so depressed, other than just staying home and pretty much doing nothing, was my, it is my weight. I'm not happy with where I am with my weight. I really want to lose what I had gained, and I want to get back to where I once was, and I know that the further, the closer I get there, the happier I feel. Every time I see that scale go down, I feel good. I don't feel like shit. I don't feel like everything is sucky. I feel good. Yeah, I think that's one of the reasons, one of the big reasons why, you know, I am the way that I am. I'm just not happy with my weight. So once I know, once I get to the goal weight that I want to be at, I know I'm going to feel a lot better. But anyways, I thank y'all so much for watching this really weird video. I don't know why I felt the need to share it. I so, uh, if you guys have a cameo and you've booked some people, let me know who you've booked in the comment section down below on how your experience was. And I thank y'all so much for watching. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. I love you guys.